Okay, so here we go. I'm actually very excited to have gotten the uh, the Bokor Oud chips from Nabil. Uh, in my previous video, I actually talked about the um, the Al Rehab body fragrances and how they. I didn't know they actually made the Nabil um, uh, in a body oil in the fragrance oil. Actually, I don't even know why I keep calling it Al Rehab. It's just I think it's because the box that the fragrance body oil came in, it looks similar to, I had like a, a similar Al Rehab style box that it came in. So that's kind of, I guess why I keep confusing it as the same brand. I don't really know if it is the same brand, but here are the Oud chips. Um, now for you Oud fanatics out there, I'm pretty sure, um, you know, you're aware of the different grades of ouds. Um, you know, this oud is, I wouldn't say is a very like super high grade oud. And one trend that I've noticed with some of the uh, oud uh, um, companies out there who sell the bakor, the, there seems to be, I would say different grades. And so what I see is a lot of, um, companies out there what they do is they will actually take the oud chips and soak the uh oud chips in a fragrance oil uh and then you burn it just like that but in my honest opinion i think even the oud chips that are soaked in fragrance oil are just as good um they do you know uh, create that nice fragrance impact on the home uh which i really enjoy and um I was excited to do a review on this because I have used this before. I've used this product before and I, I prefer to have it in my home um, at all times. And um, so here it is. I'm going to open it up so you can see right there. These are the Oud chips right there. And um, it's just very fragrant, man. Like, you know, what's nice about it is look how many pieces are in there. Okay. When you get this, you know, what, what I like to do, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it now before, you know, I don't want to delay too long. Uh, but I actually got this right here and I got this little ash catcher here and I wouldn't call this a book cord burner. I know that the topic of this video was how to burn uh, the oud chips, the book in your home without a book burner. This is not a book burner. Uh, this is just an ash catcher, okay? And this could be used for, let's say, even if you have incense cones. Um, in this case, you know, I'm going to put it, uh, put my charcoal here, which I have right here. Um, that is the, um, the charcoal uh, brickets here. And these are basically, these are self-igniting charcoals. Um, so let's see here. So what the way basically what it is is it it's I guess you know it ignites itself once you light it and um, the way I would do this here okay when you get this people like to have the little tongs and all that stuff that they use to hold it you know they have it like they have like they ha like hold it up and then light it underneath but really if it ignites anywhere on this bricket it's it's going to um, it's going to ignite the whole thing anyways so I don't really think it matters you will see it sizzle shortly Okay, so, so right now it's starting to sizzle. This bricket is starting to ignite right here. So we're gonna let that go for a little bit and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about the uh, Bokor chips. And um, what the way I like to do this is, um, you know, I would take like one little small piece, put it on here, let it burn down um, and then once that burns down, 
I don't like to crowd the whole thing up with Bacor chips because what happens is that all of a sudden you just it gets to be too much smoke and it does it does get to a point where once it burns down to a charcoal uh, it really is like no good anymore you really don't want to smell what comes after it burns down to a charcoal because it's just now it just smells like burnt wood what I'm trying to get out of the Bacor chips is this the, the you know the the smell from the fragrance oil that is on there and also um, the fragrance that comes from the actual oud chip and um, so I think this thing has gotten started right now so basically what I would do is something like this okay and uh, I'm just gonna take like one little piece actually we'll take a little smaller one here one nice little nugget and just pop that baby on there like that and just let that burn and it just smells so good like this this is a really nice gift to give you know and you can see I mean it's starting to burn a little bit I can I can feel the heat yeah it's starting to you can I don't know if you can see it starting to smoke up but this is a really nice little addition you know to add to your home and um, what I like about this uh, this little burner right here let me move this back is you know what I like about this over an actual Bacor burner is the fact that once this charcoal briquette right here starts to burn down um, the the white part when it turns to ashes it will start to fall down underneath this little crate right here and that will expose more of the uh the actual charcoal um the hot orange charcoal uh and the reason why i think that's good is simply because you know you don't want to put a fresh new piece of bacor on top of like white ash like it's not going to do you any good so I prefer to have it and put it on top of, you know, the actual orange, um, you know, hot charcoal because I know that I've got a fresh piece of charcoal ready to burn a fresh new piece of oud. Um, so, wow, this smells so good. This smells really good. I know some of the Somali ladies out there, <laughs> they like to put this in their clothes and stuff like that when they're in their house. And that's just something, you know, you'll see. Um, you know, in the, in, 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 if you ever go to an, an Arab, an Arab home, uh, it's a tradition to have Bokor chips in a, in an Arab home, um, Moroccan, Somali, a Palestinian, you name it. This is just a common thing that you will see if you go to, you know, an, an Arabic gathering, uh, which is the Oud chips. If you, if you're going to a more you know richer Arabic gathering those guys are breaking out the oud like I'm talking like the expensive uh, grade the expensive grade oud chips that you know they're measuring it by grams and they're coming out and it's not scented um, the, the the expensive oud chips that are not scented those are the kind of chips that like they literally will have you know workers in a room sitting there scraping down these chips um, you know just to get get it to the grade that they want it before they resell it for a really high high price um, but this right here this is a more should I say um, you know e e e e e uh, economy grade type of oud chips um, nevertheless I think it's really good I think it's a it's nice as an everyday burn uh, for your house um, but as you can see this thing has really gotten going right here and so once that starts to kind of start to actually smell like smoke, I might flip it over, you know, once or twice. And then after that, take it off, pop a fresh new piece on. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I hope this helps. And um, click the links down below this video when you get a chance. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will talk to you soon. Take care.